Ah, dopo molti anni di prezzi del petrolio bassi, After many years in which oil prices were low, or very low in historical terms, in the last four or five years the price of crude has again reached peaks of $60-$70 dollars a barrel, creating problems for the families more than for the big economies, since this price obviously impacts on their budgets. Why has the price increased? For two reasons because consumption in industrial and emerging countries is growing fast, which is a consequence of globalization, and because, precisely as a consequence of the low prices that have remained too low for many years, there have been few investments. Therefore, low prices haven't pushed supply and energy conservation enough, while demand obviously pushes prices up from the other side. So we find ourselves in a situation of high prices. This scenery, considering the delays in the realization of investment, will prevail, in my opinion, for many years. It's an illusion to think that there is a reduction in prices, and it's an illusion to think that this will happen soon. It's very improbable that in the current technological and social situation anyone will find miraculous solutions. I don't believe so at all. There is, however, an approach that is often neglected, which is capable of providing what in jargon is called the most important source of energy. This approach is saving, the saving of energy. Very interesting calculations show that if the US vehicle park became more efficient, each year an amount equivalent to Italian consumption could be saved in a very short time. Here in Italy, transport infrastructures are still evidently obsolete. Think of high-speed trains and the like. I believe that, while we wait for supply to increase, but let's not forget that oil is a finite source, as is gas, so it's not possible to continue to consume it indefinitely, the main way to follow is that of energy saving, which depends on everyone's behavior and on big investments on infrastructure, transport, housing and so on, and could, quoting the calculations I mentioned before, have amazing results. Italy doesn't escape from this recipe. Surely our country is traditionally efficient from the energetic point of view, also because for a variety of reasons prices here have always been quite high as a consequence of taxation. However, there is a lot to do here as well on the saving front, and I think that with serious public policies and equally serious private behavior, this strategy can take us very far, with widespread benefits. First of all, like in every other part of the world, for energy consumption, then clearly for family budgets that spend even today a great part of their income on energy consumption, especially in the north of Italy, especially in the winter. And finally, and I haven't spoken about it on a global level, but it's valid both at the Italian level and at the global level, benefits for the environment. You've all seen that a serious debate on climate changes has started again. The emission of greenhouse gases, that is of carbon dioxide, connected to energy consumption is one of the main causes of these changes. I believe that an energy saving policy keeps prices at a lower level, benefits family budgets and most importantly is good for the environment, the deterioration of which in the long run could cause costs that are currently unexpected but surely evident.